الحمد لله الحمد لله الذي ابدع الافلاك والارضين والصلاه على من كان نبيا وادم بين الماء والطين وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سبحان الذي اسرى بعبده ليلا من المسجد الحرام الى المسجد الاقصى الذي باركنا حوله باركنا حوله لنريه من اياتنا انه هو السميع البصير امنت بالله صدق الله مولانا العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاكرين والشاهدين والحمد لله رب العالمين ببركه ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما درو شريف اللهم صل على سيدنا ونبينا وشفينا وتبيب قلوبنا ومولانا محمد عبدك ورسولك ونبيك وصل على المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات each and every one of you joining as-salat wa as-salam alayka ya sayyidi ya rasul allah wa ala alika wa ashabika ya sayyidi ya habib allah as-salat wa as-salam alayka ya sayyidi ya rasul allah وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا سيد يا خاتم النبيين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم after praising Allah Almighty جل وعلا مالك الكائنات خالق كل بديع السماوات والأرض and sending infinite peace and salutations درود and صلوات upon the best of creation the light of humanity the purpose of our existence sayyidul awwalin wal akhirin imamul anbiya wal mursalin huzur jaane jana taj dar e madina rasul e akram sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam most honorable and respectable elders brothers in islam lovable youngsters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. As many of you know and are aware of, this time last week, I was blessed and fortunate to be in the noble and virtuous lands. of Baytul Muqaddas Al Masjid Al Aqsa in Al Quds Al Sharif Jerusalem Through Al Hikam Tours here in Bradford we took a group of 25 brothers and sisters to the blessed lands of Al Masjid Al Aqsa No doubt Al Masjid Al Aqsa is one of the most significant sites in the Muslim world. And not just in the Muslim world but on the face of the earth. There are countless and numerous virtues and merits which have been mentioned regarding this noble land which is referred to as Baladul Anbiya. the land of the prophets in light of quran and sunnah there are over 50 fadail virtues and excellences regarding these blessed lands worry not i'm not going to go through all 50 however i feel it is important and necessary to have this discussion because there are many of us who are not aware of the virtues and excellences regarding al masjid al aqsa 
ہے اللہ تبارک و تعالی مینشنز المسجد الاقسا بائی نیم ان دا قرآن دس از دا فرسٹ ویچو اینڈ پروبیبلی دی موسٹ امپورٹنٹ آف آل دا ویچوز کیوں یہ قرآن کی بات ہے نا اللہ المائٹی مینشنز المسجد الاقسا بائی نیم ان دا قرآن اینڈ اٹ از دی اونلی مسجد مینشنڈ بائی نیم ان دا بک آف اللہ المائٹی Surah number 17, verse number 1. The verse which I had the sharaf of reciting in the khutbah. Subhanallazhi asra bi'abdihi laylam minal masjid al-harami ilal masjid al-aqsa al-lazhi barakna hawlahu linuriyahu min ayatina. Allah Almighty Jalla wa ala speaking about the great vaqiyah that took place during the life of the messenger of Allah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. The vaqiyah of al-isra'u wal-mi'raj. Mentions that Allah, glory be to him, took his servant in a small part of the night from Masjid al-Haram to Masjid al-Aqsa. Or baqaida Not only does Allah mention this journey took place, but He also gives the reason why the journey took place as well. الَّذِي بَارَكْنَا حَوْلَهُ لِنُورِيَهُ مِنْ آيَاتِنَا Allah Almighty took His blessed servant, yani Rasul Akram sallallahu ta'ala alayka wa sallam, from Al-Masjid Al-Haram in Makkah Al-Mukarramah to Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa in Al-Quds Al-Sharif, Jerusalem. وَجَكْ يَعْسِيمُ What was the reason? Allah Almighty wanted to show His signs, min ayatina, wanted to show His signs to the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Yeh joh ird gird jaga hai na, al-masjid al-aqsa ki jaga. Allah Almighty wanted the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to see this blessed land. And no doubt, not only did the Prophet ﷺ see this blessed land, but he led all of the Anbiya and Mursaleen in the prayer in Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ himself said that there is not a single place or land or area in Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa where a Prophet hasn't prayed or an angel hasn't stood itni babar ka jagah lekin neglected by us because of the media because of what we see on social media asaninini is too dangerous to go there we don't need to go there koi zarurat nahi but today's bayan is not just to make you aware of the virtues and excellency regarding baitul muqaddas but to encourage you to make this Babarkat suffer, inshaAllah. Nabi Salaatu Wasalam said, make journey, make journey to three places, three harams. Al-Masjid Al-Haram in Makkah Al-Mukarramah, Bukhari Sharif ki riwayat. Al-Masjid Al-Nabawi Sharif in Madinah Al-Munawwara. And within this riwayat, Nabi Salaatu Wasalam said, make special journey towards Al-Masjid Al-Aqsa as well in Jerusalem. I said, Dorne jane, alhamdulillah, rightfully so, so we should, Umrah jane, Hajj jane, Unbi, inshallah, jene, jene, nasibai, which hai, hujjaj jai re na, some people from our families would have already gone towards Hajj, others, Baqaida, will be going in the next week or so, two weeks, and we should make this journey towards Makkah Sharif and Madina Sharif, if you have the means to do so, but, don't neglect Al-Masjidul Aqsa, If you speak to the Palestinian brothers and sisters, they don't want your money. Wallah, they don't want your money. Asa paise gathe karne ya, gathe karne ya. Not because they are in need of it. Woh humare liye neki hai. They are not in need of our money. They said this themselves. Imam Sahib, kitne bari gain, alhamdulillah. I've been twice as well. Those who have been will, uh, will affirm what I'm saying. But when you speak to the locals there, they're not interested in your money. All they ask for is that you come and visit them. 
Afi Shah has been, Muhtaram Maulana, Harun Shakil Sahib has been as well. Yes? When you speak to them, all they are interested is in the fact that you come and visit them, that you come and see them. Dua, no doubt, is powerful. Ad dua umukhul ibadah. Dua is the essence of ibadah. But uh, the greatest thing that we can do in order to help the Palestinian brothers and sisters is by making the effort and by making uh, the niyyah to go and see them, to go and be with them, and to read our salah in Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Yevi Galt family, I mentioned this to the brothers and sisters who came with me uh, on the Babarkat Safa last week. Ye galt femi hai. That we, when we see these pictures, uh, when we see these pictures, and I'm assuming, uh, apart from Tawheed, Afishayt, and Harun, who else has been to Al Masjid Al Aqsa here? Ji? These three, Masha, they went uh, last year. You've been twice now, I think. Once. And Tawheed, Mashallah, went with me on this Babarkat Safar as well. So you've not been, but you've seen the pictures, right? Bolona, you've seen the pictures, right? And you'll see two masjids. One with the grey dome and one with the gold dome. Just kind of dome of the rock. So people assume that either the grey domed masjid, which is known as masjid e qibli People assume either masjid e qibli or the gold domed masjid, which is referred to as the dome of the rock. One or the other is referred to as Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Nay. Al Masjid Al Aqsa meaning the furthest masjid. This is the term given to the full sanctuary and the full complex. Uh, the full sanctuary and the full complex of that blessed land where the Prophet led the Anbiya in the Salah. Wa puri jagah. Or Nabi Rasulatul Islam said that individual who reads, Tawajjah says, Suno, that individual who reads one prayer, one salah in Al Masjid Al Aqsa, he will get the reward of as though he has read 500 prayers. He'll get the reward equivalent to 500 prayers. Or Basri Bayat may have that that individual will get the reward equivalent to a thousand prayers. Ek namaz. What you call a bakat lagna. हाँ थोड़ा तंग करने एयरपोर्ट पर उन्हें ना कम है ना तंग करना ठीक है जार गले जरी चीज़ इस तरीके ना कब्जा की तीन है फिर उसकी स्मार्ट लाइफ भी पहना ना लेकिन थोड़ा मुझ तंग करने दे केप्ट अस फॉर फोर आवर्स ज़्यादा तो ज़्यादा लेकिन वंस दे गिव यू वीज़ा उठू मिलना टेलीविज़न एयरपोर्ट � we alhamdulillah not only went to Al-Quds al-Sharif, Jerusalem, but also went to Khalil as well. Khalil as well. And some of us who mentioned that Yajjah Barakna Hawlahu li Nuriyahu min Ayatina starts from Bayt al-Muqaddas, yani Al-Masjid al-Aqsa in Jerusalem. And that area goes all the way to Khalil. That area goes all the way to Khalil, which is around 45 minutes from Jerusalem to Khalil. Khalil, which is in English, which is in Hebron. What is it? Yes, but it is in Khalil. And what is the significance of Khalil? It is mentioned and it is no doubt one of the most authentic narrations that Sayyiduna Khalilullah, hence why it is called Khalil. Sayyiduna Khalilullah, who is Khalilullah? Which Prophet? Ji? Ibrahim alayhi salam. Why don't you say that? Khalilullah is who? Ibrahim alayhi salam. Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam's maqam, their resting place is in Khalil. Their blessed wife Sayyidina Sarah is also in Khalil. Ik masjid bich. Isi tariqina Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam's eldest son Sayyidina Ishaq alayhi salam. He is also resting in Khalil. Their maqam is in Khalil. Like this Sayyidina Ishaq alayhi salam's wife Sayyidina Rifqa. Kya? Bot piyara naam. Rifqa. Yes. Sayyidah Rifqa radhi salamullah alayha, she is also resting there as well. Kitni hastiyan hoi diyan? Ji? Chaar hoi diyan na? Or isi tari ke naal Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam's maqam is also in Khalil as well. Who? Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salam. That Prophet of Allah who Allah Almighty dedicates a full chapter to in the Quran. So five paqane ummat, baqaida, five hastiyan, azim personalities, 
all of them are resting their maqamat are in khalil so sumu ulama say barakna hawlahu li nuriyahu min ayatina ye jo ayat hai na surah al isra surah number 17 verse number 1 that on the night of miraj on the night of al isra wa al miraj allah almighty wanted to show his signs to his beloved habib sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam the signs were where starting from baitul muqaddas yani al masjid al aqsa in jerusalem and sumu ulama say where ends at khalil the maqam of sayyidna ibrahim alayhi salam so make effort make niyat to make this ba barakat safar say inshallah yes that we make this ba barakat safar al masjid al aqsa was also the first qibla of the believers did you know this the first qibla of the believers now we face the direction of makkah but before we used to face the direction of al masjid al aqsa sahaba ikram for taqriban 17 18 months face the direction of masjid al aqsa yes and then it was during the zohar prayer two units were read in the direction of huh? two units were read in the direction of al masjid al aqsa and then during the salah nabi sallallahu alaihi changed his direction of prayer Huh? Allah Almighty mentions this in the Quran. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam changed his direction of prayer from Al Masjid Al Aqsa to Al Masjid Al Haram in Makkah Al Mukarrama, yani Kaaba Al Sharifa. Or Baqaida Sahaba Ikram who are following the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the prayer, they also changed their direction of prayer as well. O Makam ke rabe, uski ani Masjid Al Qibla, Masjid Al Qibla Tain in Madinah Al Munawwara where this happened. So Al Masjid Al Aqsa Bait Al Muqaddas was the first qibla of the believers the first bolona the first qibla of the believers those of you who are sat at the back smiling yes if you can move forward inshallah yes all of you move forward sitting at the back mojan al batwiyo come forward inshallah drushi ibn al par allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa nabiyyina wa shafiyyina wa maulana muhammadin abdika wa rasulika wa nabiyyika wa salli ala al mu'minin wal mu'minat wal muslimin wal muslimat it causes inconvenience for people who come in after a little bit of courtesy yeah before you say imam sahab bahut sakht hai no ye ye imam sahab ko chakho na ne ha bar thore dare re ne baral first qibla of the believers first bolo na first qibla of the believers and it was the second masjid to be built on the face of the earth did you know this bolo did you know this no ye bukhari sharif ki riwayat hai yes sayyidna abu zar al ghaffari radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu prominent sahabi who if i'm not mistaken also made safar towards baitul muqaddas many sahaba ikram many sahaba ikram made safar towards baitul muqaddas and making safar making journey towards baitul muqaddas This is the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Kya? Ye Sunnat hai, Rasul hai. As I've already mentioned, it's the station of Al Isra wa Al Miraj. Nabi Rasulullah sallam made journey towards Al Masjid Al Aqsa on the night of Al Isra wa Al Miraj. So making that journey is also considered to be Sunnat hai Rasul sallallahu taala. Many baat samjhi na? So it's the second purpose-built masjid on the face of the earth. یہ سینا ابو الزر الغفاری رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ اس دراوی ہے بخاری شریف بھی ہے مسلم شریف بھی ہے ٹھیک ہے بخاری شریف مسلم شریف تو قلت یا رسول اللہ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم اي مسجد وضع في الارض اول صحابہ کرام اسٹ نبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم یا رسول اللہ یا حبیب اللہ which was the first masjid to be set upon the face of the earth first masjid to be built and the prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم said المسجد الحرام Al Masjidul, where is Al Masjidul Haram? In Makkah Al Mukarrama. Or ye bhi jano, socho, tawajjo karo, know this that here Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is asked the question of something that happened before his time. Something that happened before his time. Log ahne ji Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam aadala log jere. Akal gair akal mand log. those who don't have any intellect look ane ma'ad allah the nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam didn't have knowledge of the unseen this happened many 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 thousands of years before the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam if somebody was to ask you what was the first masjid built in bradford if you want here you can't you probably google it you probably 
Google it, or you'll ask one of the elders, what was the first masjid built in Bradford? First masjid to be made in Bradford. No. Even I don't know. Some say it was one masjid, some say it was the other. Har banda apna theka chana na. We wouldn't know this. But here Nabi Salatu Islam is asked the question what? By the Sahaba. What was the first purpose built masjid on the face of the earth? And Nabi Salatu Islam didn't say, I don't know. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Rather than Nabi Salatu Islam saying, I don't know. What did he say? That the first purpose built masjid was Al Masjidul Haram. Which tells you and me that Allah Almighty has given this knowledge to the Prophet. Allah Almighty has given this knowledge of what happened. Allah Almighty has given this knowledge of what happened before the time of the Prophet to the Prophet. And just as Allah has given the knowledge of what has happened before the time of the Prophet. To Nabi Salatu Islam, like this, Allah Almighty also gave knowledge of what happened after, or what was going to happen after the time of the Prophet Sallallahu to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Baral, Nabi Salatu Islam said what? The first purpose built masjid on the face of this earth was Al Masjidul Haram. Some said the Malaika built this angel. Uh, but the most authentic narration is what? The Sayyiduna Adam Al Islam. He erected the foundations of Al Masjid Al Haram. Qultu thumma ayyun. Then Sahabi asked Ya Rasulullah, after that, after that, which masjid was built? And Nabi Salatu Islam said, Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Al Masjid Al. So the first masjid was what? Al Masjid Al Haram. And the second masjid, Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was asked, Kam baynahuma. How many years in between the two? Kitne saal in between Masjidul Haram being built and Masjidul Aqsa being built. Does anyone know the answer? Before I tell you, give you a little bit of knowledge today. Uh, through the blessings of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Does anyone know? Uh, if you do know, check uh, Sona. Does anyone know how many years between the two being built? Ji? MashaAllah, Zinda Bahari Sahib. Sare ne bichai yore tu sahi. 40 years. How many? Sare bolo no. 40 years in between Al Masjid Al Haram in Makkah being built by who first? Adam Al Islam. And then after 40 years, Al Masjid Al Aqsa was built as well. And who laid the foundations to Al Masjid Al Aqsa? It was also Adam Al Islam. It was also Adam Alayhi Salam. Adam Al Islam laid the foundations to Al Masjid Al Aqsa. And then it was Sulaiman Al Islam. And his father Dawood al Islam, who built the full uh, complex and baqaida, the masjid of Al Masjid al Aqsa, with the help of the jinnat. When you go into uh, Al Masjid uh, uh, Al Aqsa al Qadim, Al Aqsa al Qadim, yani the old part of the uh, Al Masjid al Aqsa underneath uh, the basement, you see the big, big stones there. Huh? And there's a clear sign that the jinns baqaida helped Sayyiduna. Suleiman alayhi salam. So Nabi Salatu Salam said 40 years in between Arba'una Sanatan, in between Al Masjid al Haram being built and Al Masjid al Aqsa being built. So the first Qibla of the believers, second purpose built masjid, and the third holiest site and the holiest masjid in the Muslim world. I've already mentioned for the benefit of those of you walking in late that one prayer in Al Masjid al Aqsa is equivalent to how many prayers? G. 500 prayers. Or Baz Rivayat mein hai, Nabi Salatu Islam said that one prayer in Al Masjid Al Aqsa is equivalent to a thousand prayers. And that's allowed. Yes. When you come and read your salah by Jamaat in Al Hikam Institute or any of the local masjids in Bradford, your salah is 27 times greater in reward. If you read it alone, it's just uh, like a leper. When you come and read by Jamaat, 27 times greater. Ye local masjid ki gala. Lekin when you make journey towards Al Masjid Al Aqsa, uh, that one prayer becomes equivalent to 500 prayers. Uh, 500 prayers. Like this, the Prophet Wasallam said, that one prayer, ek rivayat uh, the Prophet Wasallam said, one prayer in Al-Masjidul uh, Al Masjid Nabawi Sharif, yani in the Prophet Wasallam masjid, that one prayer is equivalent to 50,000 prayers. How many? 
in one narration, 50,000 prayers. And then one prayer in Al Masjid al Haram, in that very same narration, it's mentioned, Behaki Sharif ki Rivayat. It's mentioned that one prayer, one salah, in the hudud of Masjid, in, in the hudud of the Haram of Makkah al Mukarramah, that one prayer is equivalent to 100,000 prayers. Yeah, 100,000 prayers. So those who are blessed to make this journey towards Hajj this year and going towards Makkah Sharif and Medina Sharif, uh, Baqaida, they are blessed and fortunate. That they not only get the reward of the Hajj, but they'll get the reward of each and every prayer being multiplied, being multiplied. Baral. Uh, these were some of the excellences and the virtues regarding uh, Al Masjidul Aqsa. So, to conclude, yes, Al Masjidul Aqsa is the station of Al Isra'u wal Mi'raj. It is the station of Al Isra'u wal Mi'raj. It is the first Qibla of the Muslims. Uh, it is the second house of Allah built on the earth. It is that place which Allah Himself calls blessed. Barakna hawlahu li nuriyahu min ayatina. And it is the only place on the earth where all of the messengers and the prophets gathered and huzu jane jana imam al anbiya wal mursaleen. Mere nabi, aapke nabi, sabke nabi, lajpal nabi kareem rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam led the prophets in the prayer. And it is the only masjid mentioned by name in the Quran. Huh? Only Masjid mentioned by name in the Quran apart from the Kaaba to Sharifa. Apart from the Kaaba to Sharifa. But I'll, this was just to give you some knowledge in relation to the virtues and excellences regarding Al Masjid al Aqsa, Bayt al Muqaddas, Al Quds al Sharif, Jerusalem. Uh, at the end, I will say this that Alhamdulillah, as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, we came back Saturday evening, uh, 25 of us, including myself, 26, through Al Hikam Tawz. It was the fifth. Uh, fifth group that we took, uh, fourth balke, uh, fifth one we're going to take, inshallah. Fourth group that we took to the blessed lands of Jerusalem, uh, Al Masjid Al Aqsa. Inshallah, the next group we are taking will be in October. When? Bolona. October. October half term holidays. Convenient for many of us. Yes? And we're not just going to take you to Palestine. That's for four days. Inshallah, we're also going to take you to Istanbul as well. Jimmy Dubai, I had a Saria. I'm going to take us to Dubai. We stumbled the Umpa, Chalo, Marzi Apni. By Sayyid Abu, by Abu Ayub Al Ansari, the Allah Talanhu is resting. The Makam of Sayyid Abu Ayub Al Ansari, the Allah Talanhu, and you've got the Topic Happy Museum and the Blue Masjid and all these great ziyarat there in Istanbul as well. So, seven day package, inshallah. When? October. Half term holidays, 23rd of October till the 30th of October. Yes, and if I'm not mistaken, the price now has been uh, set at 995. You're supposed to say Subhanallah. Chalo, marzi apni. 995 is nothing. Yes, four days in Palestine, three days in Istanbul, and then you have my company as well, which you can't put a price on. Huh? وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين